just here for a festive relaxed vibe. Look at those with the cheesy top. Our verdict on the Essex Winter Wonderland. Going to get my new glasses. I've had a bit of an eventful morning and I'm ready to take the Christmas decorations down. Hello my loves, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm enjoying the weekly vlogs this month. I know it's only just turned December, don't want to get too ahead of myself, but when I was editing the past couple of vlogs, I actually enjoyed watching it back. Does that sound really big headed because it's my own vlog? I don't know. I just feel very festive this year. The weather has been what some would describe as miserable today. I call it cosy. And I'm just enjoying the chill, festive, nice vlogs right now. Anyway, with that little positive intro, hello. I hope you're having a lovely week so far. It's actually Monday evening for me right now. Today I've been filming a studio vlog because I've been really busy working on Sunnyside. Now we're switching back to the weekly vlog. Where are we all at with the Christmas shopping at this point in December? Because I, for one, have finished my Christmas shopping, my dad's Christmas shopping, because I always have to buy for my mum from my dad, my extended family's Christmas shopping from our family. I've done all of it, it's all done, it's complete. I'm ready to sit back and chill. I'm just here for a festive, relaxed vibe, and I'm all Christmas shopping for me. I hate Christmas shopping, but a few bits arrived today for my mum from my dad. But I actually think this is a really good present idea, so I want to share it with you. She won't watch this because she doesn't watch YouTube and stuff. But my mum's main Christmas present from my dad this year is a new handbag, and her handbag is always such a mess. So I've ordered her this as well to go inside it. It's a little handbag organiser. This one goes in there, I'm guessing. Oh my god, this is going to be so good for her. It's got a zip. It's got three different compartments. It's got two more compartments here. Oh my god. I feel like every mum needs one of these. Why are their handbags always a mess, honestly? I feel like as soon as you pop out a child, it's just part of the rule of being a mum that your handbag has to be a mess. <laughs> I kind of want one of these. Maybe I need to pop out a child first. But yeah, I got it on Amazon. It feels really nice quality. It's like felt. And I honestly think this is going to be a lifesaver for her handbag. So just wanted to share it because I thought it's quite a unique little present. Chuffed with that. What a find. Anyway, it's now Monday evening. I'm on cooking duty tonight and we're all getting a little bit hangry in this household. So let's get cooking. Look how dark it is out there. I secretly love the cold, dark evenings though. I feel like it's such a good excuse to have a really warming meal. You know the kind I mean. And this section of the vlog is very kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. If you've been watching my vlogs for a while, you'll know that over the past year or so, me and my family have loved HelloFresh. I can't remember, but I think it might have been during lockdown that we bought our first HelloFresh and we honestly fell in love. We loved that we were having different dinners all the time. My mum loved that I wanted to cook. And every time I've shown me cooking a HelloFresh meal in the vlog, you guys love seeing it. I'm not the best at cooking. I definitely need a recipe to follow. I just can't remember things by memory, but that's why HelloFresh is perfect for me. It makes it so easy. Tonight's meal, we've got a fancy one. Ooh. So this is the meal I'm cooking for my family and I tonight. So we've got lamb steak and red wine jus with dauphin noir. Dauphin noir, have I said that right? Posh potatoes and garlicky green beans. I know the clue is in the name, but we all love HelloFresh because the ingredients are fresh. They're always really nice quality ingredients as well. Quality veg, quality meat, and it's delivered to your doorstep. Literally couldn't be easier. Have you come to help me cook? Any good in the kitchen? Look at the posh potatoes. These are going into the oven to bake for 15 to 20 minutes. Wow, the posh potatoes are thriving. Look at those with the cheesy top. Lovely and golden. Oh, you're back. I know it smells delicious, doesn't it? The green beans are in here. They're nice and tender. This is the red wine jus. Here's the lamb steaks all sliced up. I've got a feeling that's why you're right down there. And let's fill up these plates. Ta-da! I think the potatoes are going to be my favourite part of this meal. Cheesy dauphinois potatoes. Never had them, but they look life-changing. So if any of you guys are interested, I'm going to leave a link to HelloFresh down in the description below. And if you use the code FABHAN, you can get 50% off your first box and 35% off your next three boxes. Such a good deal, such good food. Good morning. Oh, Sonny's looking at the Christmas tree. Do you love the Christmas tree? Most years, it gets to like gone Christmas, like day after Boxing Day, and I'm ready to take the Christmas decorations down. I'm not a cluttery person. I like neat, I like tidy, but this tree, you're welcome to stay all year round. Honestly, I love it so much. Need some presents under it now, though. I need to get wrapping 
all of the presents are up in my office and I tidied my office yesterday so now the presents are in the way um so that's gonna happen soon Sunny had a groom yesterday do you want to come and show everyone your new hair if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen but she's been shaved she's tiny look at her <laughs> She looks so funny there. Oh, sorry for laughing. This time of year, her coat is a nightmare. The type of fur she's got mats so easily. And when she's wearing jumpers, equa fleeces, coats this time of year, makes it 10 times worse, even with brushing her almost daily. And she'd got quite long, so she was very matted. So I just said to the groomer, instead of like trying to get all the mats out and her being uncomfortable, shave it off, start fresh. So that's what she did. Now I've got a chihuahua. Shall we call you Chi Chi? Hi Gigi! I've got lots to do, lots to prepare for Sunnyside. I'm going to continue filming the studio vlog today, but this afternoon I'm going to get my new glasses because the lenses are in and they're all finished. What's she yeah. doing? Why are you playing with the candle? The spotlights in my office are so unflattering, but I picked up my new glasses this afternoon, guys. These actually aren't the ones I showed in my vlog a couple of weeks ago. If you watch regularly, you might have seen me trying them on in the car. They were from Prada. Um, but something just wasn't right about them. I don't know what it was, but I tried these ones on from Boots at my optician's appointment and I really liked them. So I went back for them. They were cheaper. They're Boots own brand. I like the colour of them and I like the size of them more. So yeah, let me know what you think. These are my new glasses. Here's a little close up of the colour. They're not really silver or gold. I like them. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you wear glasses? Do you need glasses? Or do you have 20-20 vision? If it's the latter, I'm very jealous. Tonight's dinner looks unbelievable. And it was so easy to make this. So we've got cheesy confit duck brioche buns with wedges and salad. And here she is. It looks beautiful and it smells even better. Good morning, everyone. So today is Saturday. Um, had a bit of an eventful morning <laughs> first thing this morning. Basically, Sunny woke up at what, like half five-ish? Mm. She needed a poo. You heard her, didn't you? So you went down, took her out for a poo. She barks when she needs the toilet. But then she wouldn't go back to sleep. And I heard her barking, and I don't usually hear her bark. Actually, she hasn't barked during the night for ages, has no, she? Not months. Um, so I heard her barking, and I panicked at like half five in the morning. I wasn't thinking straight, and I thought she'd hurt herself. So I went downstairs as well, which was a mistake, because as soon as she sees me, there's just no chance she's not going back in her crate she's not going back to sleep so we brought her upstairs on my bed we've never ever done that before she's never slept on my bed before she was so happy wasn't she to be on my bed yeah she was oh look they've got doing van life um anyway yeah so she came on my bed at half past five this morning and she went back to sleep in like five minutes i didn't <laughs> it took me ages <laughs> to get back to sleep i don't know how anyone can sleep with an animal in their bed because I was so worried I was going to squash her or I just couldn't get comfy. She was like on my arm and I just couldn't get comfortable. She's in the back now. But anyway, that's our eventful morning. So we've been up quite early this morning. But we're now over at Priory Park in South End. Do you remember that morning? <laughs> to see if the woman was dead in the car. Oh yeah, you thought that, I think we've told that story before when you thought someone was dead in the car park here. Come out for a walk, then I need to go and pick up some Christmas presents for Sunny. Yes, you! Where's your face? Sticking out the side of the mesh in the crate. Let's go. So quiet over here today. I thought it'd be really busy, but it's not. We're just having a little wander around. Sunny's looking at the... I think she's looking for the stuff that people use when they're fishing, like the worms, and actually probably smell it, can't she? Probably smell their sandwiches in the because this is where people usually fish on this lake. But it looks pretty. It's colder than I thought it was going to be today though. Oh, blimey, that made her jump. <laughs> I just felt her jump by my feet. <laughs> oh, you look lovely in your Christmas harness. I want to know in the comments down below. Sunny, this way. Um, does anyone else, when they see one magpie, have to salute? I do it every single time without fail because it's bad luck if you don't. Oh, there's one. Do a salute. Oh no, you've made me. <laughs> I know. And now I've made mum really funny about it. So even if we're not together, she does it as well now. But I actually don't find it embarrassing at all. I think, well, at least I'm not gonna have bad luck. Does anyone else do that though? One for sorrow, two for joy, three for girl, four for boy. So if you see one magpie, you have to salute it to cancel out the bad luck. We've made a spontaneous decision. We were fairly close and we saw signs for the Essex Christmas Wonderland. It's in Garen's Park in South End, so we thought, 
why don't we just pop down see what's happening a nice day a lot of families here so far i think it's more of like an evening thing it's kind of like winter wonderland i think but probably a bit more rubbish but i think it's more like it comes alive in the evening but we're not free this evening so we're gonna come now i'll bring you with me see if it's any good lots of children so far though so no, i haven't seen any other dogs though oh yeah potentially no dogs allowed we'll soon find out <laughs> so we've just got in turns out you are allowed dogs um but it's not quite winter wonderland it's more like blackpool funfair i feel that it's christmas time again okay so our verdict on the essex winter wonderland or what is it essex christmas wonderland it was what um, we expected it was what we expected yeah it was basically winter wonderland in hyde park without the nice bits <laughs> Like it was okay, no, but saying that, like if you've got young children or children to watch, most of the children there were probably like eight or nine, yeah. like the horrible age, <laughs> then it would be really nice because there was loads for them to do during the daytime. And like you said, it probably looks a lot better at night because like the <laughs> lights went on, the floor was muddy, um, so it wasn't at its best, but considering it's just in South End and it's only temporary, it's actually okay. And especially if you've got children, it would be really good. The thing I did like the most about it was the food section. They had like a German sausage stall, they had donuts, waffles, all the kind of food that you get at Winter Wonderland, they did have there, well, some of it. I would say, just don't expect too much. Maybe don't take a whole day out for it. I'm glad we went to see it because we would have wondered otherwise, yes. but I'm glad we didn't like set aside a whole day to go and see it. It was okay, basically. But if you're choosing between that and Winter Wonderland, definitely go to Winter to Wonderland. <laughs> That feels so much better looking around. Minimal things on my floor, no clothes hanging up, and we're at the end of the weekly vlog. Apologies that the vlog is a little bit shorter this week. I've been filming other content which you'll be seeing very soon. I've actually got a couple of bonus videos being uploaded throughout December. So keep your eyes peeled for those. I'm very much looking forward to a day off tomorrow. You best believe I'm gonna sit and do absolutely nothing which is probably a lie because I'll probably get caught up doing something for Sunnyside. But I hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what's the best thing that happened to you this week. I want to say a big thank you again to HelloFresh for very kindly sponsoring this vlog. Like I mentioned, there's a link to HelloFresh down in the description below. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a lovely chilled Sunday and I'll see you again very soon, possibly even earlier than Sunday, for a little bonus video. Ooh. Bye guys. Love yeah.